just a glorious day in the cradle of labour in Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, again, I bring greetings to you from the Canadian Labour Congress. Mary Shortle is our Atlantic representative and normally she is here with us on Labour Day. Uh, she told me early this morning her heart is with us today. Unfortunately, she can't be here in body. The Canadian Labour Congress uh, lobbies for many many things for um, Canadian workers right across our province. Um, we did not necessarily select a theme this year as we normally do, but one of the things that, that we, we look for and we strive for is we're really on board with uh, the CLC and their pensions um, campaign that's been ongoing for the last two years. An awful lot of people in our communities don't really realize that 1.6 million seniors in Canada do not have a wage that befits the standard that we require. They literally live in poverty. And pushing for changes to the CPP is one thing that we really, really need to focus on. You, the voters in our area, you need to contact your provincial 
your local governments, your federal governments, and say, listen here, the CPP needs to change. And it wouldn't take very much. We're kind of hoping that they're going to double it, which would we would be excellent for retirees. And the CP the CPP, a lot of people don't realize, but it is it's secure. Um, the myth with regards to the RRSPs now has uh, finally been shown that it doesn't work. It doesn't work when you retire. We need to be above the poverty line, not below. And the CPP is indexed. So if we can push for very little, very little monetary effort, the rewards are outstanding. Again, I welcome you to Labor Day. I've enjoyed this. I enjoy every Labor Day. And we're pleased, pleased to spend it with each and every one of you.